Tell me, uh, tell me about how this sanctuary has changed. The sanctuary looks the same as when I was here, uh, a little more elaborate. But then the organ was over there. I don't know what it is now, piano, I guess. Mm -hmm. Back then, they had an organ and a piano, and that was the music. And I didn't sing, so it didn't matter. (laughs) In fact, the guy sitting next to me in church one day turned around after a song, and he says, you know, Jerry, I always wished I could sing better until I heard you. He said, now I wish you could sing better. (laughs) (laughs) So, So you got saved in a hotel room at 2 a.m. Yes. Here in Mac, and then yes. the next day you said, I've got to find a church. Yeah, I now, said I thought I should go to the church. Th- these are chairs, but there were pews here before. Yeah. When you first walked in, do you remember where you sat that first Sunday? Far back as I could. <laughs> 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 exactly remember, but I know it was towards the rear because it was kind of unusual for me to be in a church. Mm-hmm. So it was different. I knew I hadn't been right in my life and I wanted to make it right hmm. all of a sudden. <laughs> so t- do you remember that first Sunday? What did the pastor talk about? Do you remember? No, I don't remember, but I do remember one guy in the congregation when I was walking out, he says, we have a potluck over here, Jerry. You're invited. I went. <laughs> My first free meal. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. a lot of, certainly has changed in, in this yeah. sanctuary over oh, the years, yeah. but the memories remain. And what it sounds like, and, and it's a good lesson for those of us who make up the body of Christ, is that it's not always the pastor's words, but it's the reception of the people around you that yes. day that you remember the yeah. most. Yeah, I didn't remember a thing the pastor said, but yep. I remember the after when they invited me to come and be with them. I remember that distinctly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So there, there's a pretty amazing story about how this building came to be. I know uh, you didn't necessarily have a part of it um, starting to attend here in 1970, but have you heard the story of how this this yeah. church uh, was was actually physically built? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was one lady here in town. She did her 90s. She remembered making bricks. I don't know who put the bricks on up on the whole building, but the, the congregation made them. It was kind of unusual, and brought them here, got it going, and. The congregation made the bricks. Yes, they actually they made them. This building. Yes. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's that was hard to believe. I yeah. still, I still wonder how they did it. But so um, the decade turns. It becomes 1980. Uh, there's discussion among the congregation here that a new location might be in the works. Yes. 1981. You guys acquire the property over on Hill Road and the construction begins. You move in 1984. Do you remember what that time was like, those four or five years there in the, in the very early 80s? We were getting ready to go and they were gonna, we were looking to hire a concrete contractor. And then the two guys approached me and they said, you are a concrete contractor. <laughs> so start pouring, you know, <laughs> I thought, uh, but you know, it's a very highly unusual, a lot of concrete in that building up there, hundreds of yards. And I was involved in every yard of it. And, you know, I, I often wondered how I was doing financially, but every month I would look back and all the time I'd spent at the church, my cash flow was still good or better than it was before I started spending half my life at the church. So I knew, <laughs> God could do it, whatever He wanted, at any time that He wanted. I just had to say yes, (laughs) so I did.